Hi there, and welcome back to the Project Corner. I've been away for two weeks because of flu and working in the garden, um, but Microsoft improved the baseline feature in Planner, so let's take a look. So for this new feature to show up, we are going to create a new plan. I'm going to use a template and make sure that this template is always a premium template because baselines is a feature that's only available in the premium subscription. So here we have a light, nice schedule with some labels and we even have a board view that looks quite nice with some analysis, design, trending, training or testing training. But let's take a look at the grid because most of the baseline features will happen here. So of course, we're going to take a look at the baseline feature on the top right. And we know that we need to create a baseline in order to get the baseline. Now, immediately you'll see that there's a spotlight page apart from the baseline details itself. So your plan is set to start to finish on schedule because we just created it, right? Just right now. Um, and on the spotlight page, you'll see more things coming up. And we'll get back to that in just a moment. The spotlight, again, one new thing. Also the compare all tasks is coming up later in the video. So let's take a look at the baseline details because here we can still change the name of the baseline. We can also add a note. But something that you will also see happening here is that there is now a baseline finish start duration and effort with a tracker. And that is a very big and very welcome improvement on the baseline itself. So we'll have some changes in our schedule. Of course, don't forget that we also have the option to delete a baseline. So let's close this up and let's navigate to our duration for some of the tasks. Let's change this one to five days and let's have another change here or there. Yeah, so the five uh, four hours is not something that I would use in a schedule. So let's change that to one day and one week. And apart from the duration, it's also important to have effort, which used to be called work in Microsoft Project, right? And we have the option to increase or decrease according to what we need in our effort here. Now, all of these changes are being done in the live schedule, in the current schedule. So that means that there is a difference between what is in the current schedule and in the baseline. So let's have another look. We immediately see that we're behind schedule for six and a half days. And we now also see a critical path showing up in our spotlight. Interesting, very nice. But also know that there is another additional field that you'll be able to see. And that's called the overdue tasks. Now I highlighted that compare all tasks because it's different and we'll take a look at that later. So here you see that comparison towards the original schedule, the baseline and the actual schedule. And you'll see that there's a 16, increase, 16 hours increase. There's a lot of days. So there, those are issues, changes. Now, the compare all tasks is something very interesting because we have the add columns option and we can add a list of columns there, but there's nothing related to the baseline from this menu item. However, if we navigate to the baseline, we will be able to track the baseline on a task level. Very good update. And this is very close to what we know as a tracking Gantt. So we have the baseline start. Apart from the start, we have the finish and baseline finish. And we have the finish variance. Very important. Very nice update. Sadly, though, we do not have the option to add the effort variance because work variance is also very important, especially for earned value management perspectives. There's an option to hide the baseline, but then how to get that back because that hide button disappeared as well. You need to go to the baseline and you'll need to go to the compare all tasks. So that is the way that you can get the baseline features back into your get grid. 
Next up, of course, would be a visualization of the timeline baseline as well, because we're very heavily focused on visualization of these kinds of values. Um, but currently, that is not something that we have as an option for Planner today. So with that, that's everything that I have to offer on baseline updates for Planner for now. I also did a blog article about the same topic. So please be aware the link is in the show notes.